Hey, what's going on? This is Dalton at Dalton 95 Coming at you with another Transformer Transforming Figure review. And as you can see by the title, this is going to be the Transart uh, BWM. I can't remember what exactly it stands for, but it is 02 Skateboard Gorilla. I believe 01 is their strange friend. Still don't have that one yet. I'll probably pick it up at a later time. But uh, Primal was more important of a character to me than Transmutate, so we're going to be looking at him first. So, very nice box art here. You get some of that kind of organic look to him with all the furs you know, painted on there with the very bushy eyebrows. Looking very much like something out of Dragon Ball Z right here. Looks like he's part of the Ginyu Force. Uh, here on the back, you get what's obviously meant to be Sentinel, the computer screen, little panels here, lever. Uh, box does not want to stay closed. On top there, bottom with all your legal stuff, your caution and everything. So yeah, not much else to it. Let's go ahead and get this open. And it opens up very much like any masterpiece style figure. I'm going to get this box out of here. Get a instruction booklet. And there is Skateboard Gorilla or Transmetal Optimus Primal in this top clamshell. Along with his two alternate faces for robot mode and beast mode. And in the second tray you get the stand, as well as blast effects, his maces, and his blaster, which already has batteries installed. I'm not sure how to change them. If you know, please let me know down in the comments or just, you know, tweet at me, whatever. Let me know how to change those batteries. So, let's go ahead and get them open up here. Actually, you know what? Skip this. We'll go right to them out of all this. Alright, so here we have Skateboard Gorilla or Transmetal Optimus Prime in robot mode out of the packaging. Now, I don't have any of my Beast Wars figures out at the moment to compare because I am between moves right now. So, it's a little bit difficult to compare. But, something that most people should have by now. There's Siege Sideswipe. So, just so you can get an idea. He is roughly in scale with Masterpiece. He is just a little bit smaller than Dynamut, but he is definitely taller than his original Season 1 self, as he should be. So, one other thing you do get with this, because he does have back metal plastic, you do get a little cloth to wipe off the fingerprints and dust, whatever, from the chrome without scratching it. So, very nice that they included that. Here is his weapon. You can see, lights up. And just for showing it off, there it is with the blast effect. You can also stack up the blast effect for, of course, more blast effectiveness. So, and then once again, so, yeah, very well done. I would love to see more third party companies doing this and definitely a wider array of Blast Effect styles. And of course, you do get little maces, morning stars, flails. Well, and flail would be on a change, so yeah, it's a mace. Uh, for this, you could either store it in robot mode, you know, in his hand, but. It's usually a beast mode thing, so we'll go ahead and put these on his back. And just so I don't have to see those little bits of flash. Same thing on this one. And there you go. So now he's got his mace weapons stored on his back. As far as articulation, well, actually, let's go over paint ups. Uh, Got this metallic red paint here on 
the shoulders just like you would on the original toy. Same here on the back, which we were that for gorilla mode. Get this very nice gradient on the chest. Again, very cartoon accurate. Some chrome here on what will be the gorilla feet. Of course, all this kind of silvery, kind of greenish paint. It's hard to describe the the hue that it has, so it's kind of a greenish silver. Very hard to actually describe. Uh, we've got all this burgundy plastic all throughout, or this kind of weird purpley color. So, yeah, very decent painted, and it, most of it is colored plastic, except for the majority of the arms. Just notice this is unpainted right here. Oh well. Uh, articulation, his head is on a ball joint, so you get all sorts of movement out of that. Shoulders, 360 on a ratchet, 90 works on a ratchet, you get a swivel at the bicep, and a tight hinge at the elbow, getting you just over 90 degrees, and those straighten out completely. Wrists are on a ball joint. Get the three fingers here on two knuckles. And then the, four, the index finger is on two knuckles as well, independent. And the thumb is just on a ball joint. So, so you got that. Let's go ahead and give him his hair dryer, I mean gun, I mean, yeah, it's either a hair dryer or a megaphone, what it looks like instead of a gun, but there you go, you have him wielding it, you know, don't think we've seen him use it very much, and if you want, there's this little clip here, folds down, And I completely forgot to do lower body articulation. So while we're down here, he's got, let's go just take these off. He's got 360 degrees at the waist to, of course, transformation, and why not give him that level of articulation. Uh, hips, all the way forward and back on a ratchet, all the way out on that same ratchet. You do get a thigh swivel. You get a Ratcheting knee, which also can work here with the transformation for gorilla mode, getting a double knee with which you know, you get all the way there again. Transformation, and then thanks to you also get a little movement here. But here at the foot, you get your tilt, and of course, forward and back. So, very articulate as far as the legs go. Arms a little bit limited, but for the most part, it works. So, as far as gimmicks go, you can change the face out. You just pull the front section here off. So, you pull this out. So, you got that kind of stern look there. Go with the classic toy look. Give him a angry face. Like if he's chewing out Silverbolt for not going after Black Arachnia, like as far as war tactic. And by far the weirdest face that he's got. It's not as weird as I think the Beast Mode one is. He's got this really kind of unsettling smile that I don't think we really ever saw on Primal. Correct me if I'm wrong. I probably am. But I don't remember him having a grin that big. So we'll just switch it back to the stern face. And there we go. I think that actually looks better. It suits him a little bit more since he's more of a commander this time around. Let's get these two out of here. So, get this guy transformed into beast mode. It is fairly simple, just like the original, like the original toy. Uh, we want to start here. Better to straighten the arm out. Open up these. 
and for the most part you just flip the arm around and then rotate that 90 degrees and there's one arm done so same thing on this side straighten it out bring these out rotate it around close it up and rotate so there's the arms done the so this section we flip it around now for here go ahead and bring this section out and up now as you're bringing it down to form his backpack just straighten this all out there are little sections here that you need to bring around like this same thing on this side so bring it around 90 degrees that will hug around his torso but first quick, let's wipe this all down go ahead and open up the torso from the front and back again much like the original toy even though I think on the original it was just one side that opened up so go ahead and flip this whole section around revealing the gorilla head so as we're bringing this down and around these sections will hug around the torso just like on the original toy but I guess one thing I forgot to show is that you could do the whole like anti-air cannon but not something huge I mean it's just mostly up like this bring these out Stick the hands behind and then the two guns up top. So I might show that later, but now a little too late and I'm not gonna reshoot this video. Just wanna get it out for you guys so you can see it. I'm sure everyone knows how it works by now. So from here want to Hold these all up. Bring this little section out right here at the back of what will be the gorilla foot. And that just kind of kind of got to finesse it between the two detents on the joint. So just like that. Nope. Okay, didn't break it. It is. But you need to use a little bit of finesse. A lot of times it's easier said than done. Almost got it. There we go. And just bring forward these sections here. Just like that. And do the same thing here on the other side. So up and around. And there we have Skateboard Gorilla or Transmetal Optimus Primal in Beast Mode. So, once again, looks very good. All their articulation is pretty much the same. The Gorilla head here is also on a ball joint. You're limited though in the legs. You just get a thigh swivel forward and back in and out. And then these little sections here that are the toes move around. You got that. You can, just like with robot mode, take the faces off, though it is a little bit different here in gorilla mode. So, just looking here, trying to do this without damaging anything. This is my first time taking the face plates off. And I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it because I don't want to break anything. Not even sure if I'm 
taking it off right. Let's go ahead and just take it off the ball joint. I'm not even sure how to get this off without damaging any of that chrome. But anyways, you do get the angry face like we would get with the original toy. And a kind of a smiling face, which again looks kind of weird. So I'll just stick with a neutral face. Just wipe this all down. You do get this little red paint up here. Again, much like the original toy. And yeah, and you can also, well, let's go ahead and get him into his little flying skateboard gorilla, as the figure's name suggests. So go ahead and turn his torso about 90 degrees like that. I want to come under here, flip these around, go ahead and untab the feet and pull those back down because we're not going to need those tabs anymore. Pull that up. So from here, want to straighten that out and then bring it down here at the knee joint make sure that's all straightened out bring that section around rotate what would be the knee joint or the knee swivel whatever 90 degrees again same thing here straighten it all out and then from here you just want to move each hip joint one click and just bring this all together. And just make sure everything's straightened out. Turn them 90 degrees, or keep them there at 90. And there he is. You can balance for the most part. There we go. And he does roll around just like the original. Although it is, doesn't roll so well on the surface, it might help if I. Yeah, does not like rolling on this. So, uh, one other little feature you can take the gun here and it can plug into this hole here. So, just plug it down and down just like that. So, you can have the exhaust. Coming off here, so you got that, and of course you can hold the mace weapons, those little clubs, so there you got that. So one last little thing I'm going to show off here is the base and how to assemble it, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so to finish off this video, we're going to look at how to put together the space. So, you got these two sections here, and if you want, you can line them up just like that. Just interlock them together. So, just like that. Then you get these two sections here these two smaller sections, this little adapter piece to go from the figure to the stand, and then you get the spring-loaded, or not spring-loaded, spring-locking uh, joints for the stand. So if you want, let's go ahead and take one of these, and it'll just plug in into there. Take one of these, plug it in there. Actually, might want to do it like do it like that to where you can bring this one down. Let's just say we'll bring this one up like that. Do one of these shorter ones. one of these right here. Point that this way and you can even can see it. You can even pull these out and rotate them so you can get a angle shot. Just gonna do it like that. And 
Let's go ahead and plug right here into Primal. So there you got Primal on the stand. It is a little wobbly. that nope. so there we go it is a little scary bouncing on here but you got them on the stand and take them off because I'm afraid of breaking the stand because it, it's just so rigid it doesn't it just doesn't feel sturdy so yep that pretty much does it for the Transart skateboard gorilla like I said the only thing I didn't show off was the whole anti-air cannon thing but I'm sure if you've messed with the original primal toy and you've seen the cartoon you've probably seen it you've probably seen it in pictures and other people's reviews of this figure but you know I hell it might even be the thumbnail for the video so you know what all right so just so I can get it done out of the way because I know there's gonna be some people who point out that I didn't do the you know the mode and start complaining that you know whatever it's three o'clock in the morning I am dead tired so let's go ahead and get this over with go ahead and bring this section up and around stick his hands up under here and just go ahead and plug these on So there you got the aircraft, anti-aircraft mode, or just gun turret. And let's go ahead and pop these on. It's difficult to do this behind camera because everything wants to pop off. this on here do the same thing uh, you know what we'll just do it with two because make it look like it's firing two different shots so there we got the the turret you know over the shoulder cannon thing that he used like once or twice I think twice he used it first introduction episode and then I believe it was in yeah it was in Code of Hero that he used it attacking Megatron so yeah so that pretty much does it hope you guys enjoy be sure to check out all the links down in the description Facebook Instagram Twitter as well as all the other YouTube channels and places that I shout out I am gonna end this video here and I will see you all in the next one so see ya